Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I really appreciate you taking out time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. So thank you in advance. Now we're back doing another fighting game because that's what we do here. Got a whole bunch of them on the list. So let's get into another one. And let's get into a Dreamcast fighting game because those are some of the best fighting games, at least to me. So let's talk about Project Justice. Now, for those of you who do not know, Project Justice is a sequel to the Rival Schools game, which is a fighting game by Capcom. And it features like 3D style graphics, but it's on a 2D plane. But there's some sidestepping things that you can do so you can kind of move 3D. But it, you know, it's really original. And I remember I played Project Justice actually before I even played the original Rival Schools because I would see Rival Schools in magazines and I would hear some people talk about it, but I never had a chance to play it. And then I had a friend who had a Dreamcast who had a bunch of games that were on a recordable disc because Dreamcast had a thing where it didn't stop you from using those. So we pretty much had, you know, all the Dreamcast games. And so he was like, yo, you got to play this Project Justice. And I didn't know it was a sequel to Rival Schools until, you know, it booted up and we started playing. And the game is super cool just because the story mode, which I don't understand how Capcom didn't realize this was the way to go. But the story mode, you pick, you know, a group from each of the different high schools, hence the name of the first game, Rival Schools, right? And you go through these different story modes. And obviously, when you, you know, complete the campaign, you get the, uh, you know, a character unlocked. But it's really cool how all of this, like all these characters interact with each other. Obviously, there's backstory from the first game and it's like an anime. So, you know, you're getting to see, you know, how you know who are the rivals with who. And then the characters themselves are really cool because a lot of them are based on like school activities. You know, there's a there's a baseball guy. There's a uh, from the sports academy. You got the baseball guy. You got the uh, the swimmer. You have, you know, someone based on tennis. You know, you have all these different characters for each of the schools and then you have like the my favorite group which is the delinquents with uh daigo and uh the, you know the, the sumo st uh, judo style guy and the and uh edge with the you know he's got the knife and they're like the uh you know they're the punks so but each of the different schools have all these different themes to them and it's really cool as you see the different characters there's one who's like a photographer and she's snapping your pics while she's giving you the business she's like the school reporter right so she's got the mic and the camera um, there's like a class president, which I thought was really cool. And then the combat system was like, it's familiar, but it's still very distinct. So it feels very Capcom, you know, Street Fighter-esque with some of the inputs and things like that. But then you have like the air combos that give it more of a, uh, you know, a arcadey or over the top feel. But there's cer a certain level of gravity behind everything. So there's strategy involved, you know, and then you have the team up attack. So it, it's like... You got a 3D version of a Street Fighter type type game, you know, with the crossover mechanics to a degree of like, you know, Marvel versus Capcom. Like you can't tag out or anything like that, but you do have special team up attacks you can do. And the other team can interrupt your team up attacks. Look, there's a lot of layers and strategy and skill and a lot of uh, it lends itself to a lot of, of, you know, oh, my God, moments and things like that. Or, you know, that was crazy. That was that was really cool right there. Uh, so. Visually, this game was always really appealing. Control-wise, this was very appealing. Character-wise, this was great. Story mode, this was great. So it makes a great game, and it would make sense that it's on the Dreamcast because Dreamcast has really, 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 really good fighting games. Um, unfortunately for this series, this is the last entry in it for whatever reason. Capcom has not made a sequel, but they did put, you know, uh, QSK and Capcom vs. SNK, uh, the sequel. And then Batsu was in Capcom versus Tatsunoko. And, you know, so they acknowledge the existence of these characters, even though you don't get to necessarily play another game. I would love to see this. Like, hopefully the Capcom fighting collection did great so that maybe we get a part two since they did that with the arcade, which I know didn't do great. So if that that's the case, that would be really cool because we, we deserve to play Project Justice online. We deserve to play these characters and you know there, there needs to be not even necessarily a competitive scene but just people's ability to play these games and enjoy them because i feel like more so now than ever people like the anime style storylines they like the you know the ideal of multiple schools like this game is is made for the gaming of today so i'll be happy to see this revived or at least like i said get a a uh, online version of this game i know you've played this game if you have let me know favorite characters, uh, favorite storyline, you know, whatever about this game that you remember that you enjoy. If you had a rival in Rival Schools too, that would be cool. But 
Either way, I always love to hear your thoughts on these series. So I appreciate you taking that time to uh, reminisce with me. Have fun. Be safe. Peace.